for the tie in the game, Cox, and away we go. First pitch strike from Greg Ferrone with a 91 mile an hour fastball. Cole Messina, catcher at the plate, softly taps this to the right side. Will Hodo on to first and reaching safely, Cole Messina. 2 2. Struck him out looking, a fastball at 92. 2 1. Lifted high in the air to right field. Evan Slight moving to his left. Makes the grab, and that'll close out the inning. Fastball 91-94. More carry and run on it. Fresh space uh, just gives you a fresh perspective, and T.J. McCants is taking advantage of that. No swing and miss at a 93-mile-an-hour fastball as Pitzer, who had nine strikeouts against Vandy last week. Reality and the patience and neutral mindset he's taken. Upstairs fastball, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Pitzer. Payoff pitch. Yeah. Fastball called third strike. Three straight strikeouts for Tyler Pitzer. Breaking ball misses for ball four. Cape Cod League All-Star. Chops it up the middle. Nolan on to tip it. What a double play turned by the Gamecocks. And some players are playing better through SEC play. Deep in the air to left field. This is well back, and this one is gone. Will Hodo going the opposite way to left with a solo homer. And the Crimson Tide with a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the second. Big ups. Lean back on one, big fella. Get you one, Will. Seventh homer this year for Will Hodo. That's his third in conference play. Yeah, Will Hodo is a good veteran hitter. Uses the entire field. We talked about Pitzer's ball. Has some run on it. Will Hodo just runs it the other way. Transfer from Canisius. Clubs it high and deep to right field. Max Grant with his first Alabama home run. 2-0 Crimson Tide. That ball was deleted, folks. And for Max Grant, that's got to feel good in his second start. Running one out of the yard for the Tide. Two homers last year for the Golden Griffins. How about his first for the Tide? Got a fastball down and inside. That's where you like him as a left-handed here. Max just absolutely gave the right field Ragers one that they can enjoy out there. Find a way to keep you in the lineup. Don't get me wrong, they want Eblen back too. Gage Miller, base hit down the left field line all the way to the corner. Double for Gage Miller. Good start to the inning for Alabama. Got him swinging, this time in a breaking ball. Into right field for a base hit. Miller gets the wave around third. He'll score. Ian Petrutz with an RBI single. Petrutz has driven in six runs this weekend against South Carolina. Watching from out beyond left center. Chopper to the second baseman. Gamecocks turn two in back-to-back -back innings, and that'll end Alabama's bottom of the third. Less Kentucky is off to a 6-1 and one start. The Crimson Tide will go there next week as Justin LeBron strikes out. So again, that's just life in the SEC. You just keep it close. Will Hodo, first pitch swinging. Homer last time up. This one's deep in the left center again, and just like the first at bat, Hodo homers for the Crimson Tide. He's got two solo shots against South Carolina to make it 4-0. Hodo just staying in that honey hole over there in left field, just absolutely working that left field side and runs a ball out of here. He's seeing the ball well. Two homer game, Will Hodo. Stays in his legs right there. You see, not trying to do too much. That ball's got a little bit of run. Will Hodo, it's always fun to hit a home run in your first at bat. But how about two in your first two at-bats? Defied that and saw it really well, and he puts a good swing on that one right here. Base hit to center to start the inning, and he becomes the first base runner since the first inning for South Carolina. Makes it harder to run on the pitcher. There's a swing and a deep drive down the right field line. Slide moving back all the way to the wall. He will look up, and this one is gone. Two-run homer by Dylan Brewer has cut Alabama's lead in half. It's now a 4-2 game in the top of the fifth. Great swing right there to keep it inside the foul pole to get the Gamecocks back on the board. Dylan Brewer with a tremendous swing. 
on that left-handed pitcher in Greg Ferrone. Not easy to do to run it out, out the yard against that. See that swing right there, got it in. Fastball inner half, got his hands inside quickly. Looks like he was working aggressive to it. Go to admire it for a little. It just tells you, you know, see what you, it can elevate you to do next. Good, strikes him out with a 93 mile an hour fastball. Good with the 2 2. Right back up the middle, base hit. Another multi hit game for Gage Miller in this series against South Carolina after he was 3 for 4 last night. He's 2 for 2 in this game. Rolled right to first. Casas will make the play as Miller takes third base. Now there are two gone. The 0 2. Got him swinging. Huge strikeout for good as he spins a scoreless bottom of the fifth. The Tide's always thought really highly of Greg Ferrone, and he has weekend stuff. Base hit to left for Cole Messina. He's got two of the four hits for the Gamecocks today against Ferrone. Cole Messina continues to swing a hot bat. Ooh. Jones sprays it high and deep to center field. McCants racing all the way back. This is off the wall for a base hit. Messina will get the wave around third. The relay throw home. Messina slides in safe. Kennedy Jones with an RBI double makes it a one-run game in the sixth inning. It's now Alabama four, South Carolina three. And the Crimson Tide will just intentionally put on Petri. Trying to play a small ball. Check swing low and inside. He went around. On appeal to the third base umpire, Ray Gregson, he rings up Kazis. That's a huge second out here in the sixth inning. The one, two. Got him looking, strike three. Tyler Fay with a 94 mile an hour fastball escapes the jam. Gamecox bottom third of the order due up. And a strikeout for Tyler Fay starts the seventh. Off speed pitch, one, two. He's just a tremendous SEC hitter. Slow Baltimore chopped is short. LeBron has it. And off the bag, Will Hodo, so Jackson reaches safely. 3-2. Low and inside, ball four. A fastball misfired low and in, and that puts two men aboard for South Carolina. Sends it in play into center field. A base hit for Parker Nolan. This will load the bases as McCants gets a good throw back to the infield. Now the base is loaded, only one gone thanks to that hit for Nolan. Guess who's coming up next? Cole Messina. The one-two. Breaking ball, hit fair down the left field line, all the way to the corner. South Carolina will take the lead. Cole Messina comes through with a two-run double. And now the Gamecocks are in front, five to four. Tremendous at bat, completely changes the momentum of this game. Only one out. Two in scoring position, Kennedy Jones will wear this pitch. Bases are loaded. Bases loaded. First pitch swinging, a base hit down the left field line for Ethan Petri. South Carolina adds to its lead. Nolan scores, Messina scores. Jones will be picked off at third base, but the Gamecocks can live with it. Thanks to a two-run double by Petri, it's now South Carolina with a 7-4 lead. He homered against Heiberger with a solo shot on Thursday. He gets a base hit to center field here. Getting an easy wave around third is Petri. He'll score. South Carolina an 8-4 lead, an RBI single thanks to Gavin Causes. Has the firepower, and you're show, they're showing it to you right here. Up the middle, a base hit for Brewer. Hustling the third base. And in there safely is Causes. Well, it's Lee Croy who started the inning with a strikeout at the plate. Skies it high down the right field line. Hodo and Grant giving chase, and it will be Hodo that puts it away for the final out of a five-run top of the seventh for South Carolina. One way or another, whether it's an infield hit, air, walk, and you see right there again, leads off the inning with a walk. You can locate it. Lays down the bun, a fair ball in the grass. Cassetti, close play for the outs. Good sacrifice bun turned in by Tippett, moving Jackson into scoring position with one out. Top of the order, Parker Noland puts it in play to short. Braun throws him out. And another 90 feet for Jackson moving to third base, but now there are two gone. And this gets away. So now South Carolina with a 9-4 lead. Blake Jackson a moment ago from third. There's the strike to close out the inning. 
Chopped at first. Hodo with hops. And that'll close out the inning. Kenzie does his job. Especially with a five run lead. Base hit to left field by Justin LeBron. Challenged him with a 94 mile an hour fastball, but LeBron's aboard to begin the Alabama night. First pitch swinging and base hit to right field. Now two on, nobody out for the Crimson Tide, trailing by five in the bottom of the ninth. It's the start you want for the Tide. There it is. Base hit in the left center. Justin LeBron will stop at third. The base is now loaded with nobody out for Alabama. And just like that, you got the bases loaded. Get these opportunities because of that. Slow chop to first. Gamecocks will only get one out on the play. Crimson Tide get a run. RBI Grand Out's first for Hamiter to bring home Justin LeBron to make it a 9 to 5 ball game. Struck him out looking. A fastball at 94 miles per hour from Ganey. Popped up into foul territory. Causes under it. Lost his footing. Couldn't make the grab. Mm. Hopefully, Causes is all right. He was trying to make a play on that yet. 2 2. Into right field. And it's down all the way to the wall. Snell scores right behind him. Hodo, Gage Miller hustling to third base. He's in there, and the Crimson Tide keep making noise in the ninth. 0-2. Oh, Put in play a base hit. That'll bring home Gage Miller. T.J. McCants, an RBI single. It is now a 9-8 game in the bottom of the ninth. You tip your cat to T.J. McCants right there. Professional A.B. Payoff pitch. Poked high in the air, foul territory. Messina coming over. He goes into a slide and can't make the grab. Extra life again for Alabama. Petrutz. Here we go. Ball four. Now Petrutz, the winning run will be at first base. Crimson Tide will send up the captain to the plate. Softly tapped, third base side. Barehanded pickup, but no play for Lee Croy. The out, however, recorded at third. McCants just overran third. Lee Croy at first didn't want to throw, but went back to third base. And McCants is out, but there may be a replay review. Back door, McCants, shortstop was there to lay the tag on there, see for replay what we got. That is going to be tough to tell. Again, the call by Ray Gregson out at third. The tag by Will Tippett. How are you? Out confirmed, and the Gamecocks take the final game of this series. 9-8 the final score in another one-run thriller between South Carolina and Alabama.